What I want to do is make a violin using new materials and technology. 3D printing is adding materials layer upon layer upon layer right. to build up a 3D model, a 3D object. And you can use a, a range of different materials um, from plastics, yeah. um, metals uh, and ceramics. This one uses inkjet printing. Yeah. This is a, a number of inkjet print heads yeah. going across there which jet out right. liquid polymer. As it prints, ultraviolet light hits it immediately right. and then cures it, solidifies it immediately. Wow. The fused deposition modellers use a, a extruded hot filament. So they take a filament of polymer, so a wire of polymer, right. they melt it and squirt it out. The primary advantage is that you don't need a mould to make the product. Yeah. So you just directly print it from, a data, from data. So you can make a design, print it. If you want to change it, you can change it and then print it again. It's all about having this, this triumvirate of a design, a process and the right material. If, yeah. Once you've got all three together, you can do wonderful things. You can put an internal honeycomb or a lightweight scaffold structure within the structure. You couldn't manufacture that, yeah. you couldn't make it, you couldn't make it from raw, you couldn't cast it, yeah. you couldn't machine it because it's inside the structure. So things like the aerospace market, the auto sports market and the medical market, it really is having large impact. It's a big challenge using, using a new material because I think that the wood is very responsible for the tone of, of Ireland. But to try and capture the tone, which is something that people have fallen in love with, will be very challenging. So we don't have the same palette of materials that are available to every other manufacturing yeah. process. Partly because these systems have only been around for 20 years. Yeah. If we had a multi-material system available, yeah. you could add different materials um, to give you either added strength, added stiffness, um, different acoustic properties if you knew how the acoustics were going to work. So this is our multi-material lab. So you can see lots of uh, uh, inkjet printing type uh, machines around that we use to develop uh, new, new inks for, for new materials, uh, new polymers and conductive materials and biological materials. So Greg, do you think we'll have these machines in our homes shortly? The, the lower cost technologies are already in the home, yeah. um, but they're, they're limited on size, but it, it will not be that long before those are getting larger formats. So th this, for example, is around about 100,000 euros. Yeah. Yeah, whereas the, the systems you can get in your home at the moment are around about less than a thousand euros. The really great thing about 3D printing is that you're not limited by the technology, you're limited by only your, by your imagination of what yeah. you can actually print. So yeah. if you, you can design anything and now you can actually realise that. So, yeah. and you can print anywhere. You're not limited to going and to go to a factory to manufacture something. You can manufacture it in your bedroom, you can manufacture it on the moon, on the space shuttle, That's anywhere you want. Yeah.